Hello everyone, welcome to Rehack. This was released March 24th, 2018. Developed by Easyways team, published by Easyways. The hacking simulator, which consists of many, many games, which together all merge into one composite game. Greetings employer, you have been selected for testing of an experimental system of external system penetration. Space to skip dialogues, log in, okay. The system has been developed by our company to maximize efficiency. Now we will do a little excursion. This is a central part of the system. Desktop. Move the mouse cursor to the bottom part of the screen. At the bottom right part of the screen, you can see a clock you can use to go to sleep. It's blocked by the red arrow. Um, you can use to go to sleep something right time so you would remain alive and able to continue work. Main menu activation button is located at the bottom left part of the screen. Can I turn the fucking music off? Thank you. Shit. Right now, how do I get out of this? <laughs> I can't. How do I exit the fucking settings? That didn't do it. On click, it opens a menu. Using what you can, deactivate system in order to save company energy. Okay, how do I get out of the fucking settings? Clicking settings again doesn't do it. Okay, well, we can go to a second. Okay, all right, that seemed to do it. Okay. <clears throat> also, you can open the settings panel, which you won't likely need to do. Oh, I absolutely needed to. That music was abusive. Um, Hack Workplace or HWP is an application that contains a reference to missions, which you can try to complete now. Use it. So available. I don't know. Tutorial part two. Uh, the second part of the tutorial. Choose first mission tutorial part two, the only mission which is available to you right now. Already did that. Cleaning logs. Okay. Confirm second part of the tutorial. This part of the system is required to send data which depends on your input. Drag arrows to bottom panel with mouse. After completing command sequence, press begin. You need to input commands to create correct sequence of actions. Good luck. Okay. I, I can't there I can't what fucking begin? Can't drag anything. There's no arrows. I can't do anything with this. Um, uh, no, no, no. No. I can't access the menu either. What? What arrows? What the fuck is it talking about? What arrows? What begin? I can't interact with any of this. Am I, am I failing the tutorial because I'm not... Let's see. There are reviews here. Uh, May 14th, 2018, Absolute Garbage Doesn't Even Work.
Is it just me? What the fuck? Discussions. I'm going to Steam. I'm checking to see... What the hell? Dead in the water. I got past mission one, but after there seems to be... I can't run command because there's no taskbar. There are a couple of empty dialog boxes, though. That's not what I'm experiencing. I, I can't even get to the tutorial. I put the arrows in the right order and it deletes the arrows. I don't even have arrows. Okay, all right. I'm going to relaunch the game. Just a moment. Let's try this again. Log in. Tutorial part two. Confirm. Okay, now that fucking thing is gone, or maybe it's not. For starters, open the taskbar and switch to the command. Okay. There we go. Okay. Press enter. Okay. Um. I'm assuming this is the finish line because of the flag. What am I supposed to do now? Um, can't can't actually drag anything. I can click. All right. So if we turn, I assume that we're pointing up right now, just because of the shape of the thing. So we turn once. We turn again. That puts us facing downwards. Then we go forward. Then we turn again which will put us pointing in this direction. Then we go forward. Then we go forward. Then we turn clockwise again. Then we go forward. Then we go forward. Then we turn counterclockwise. Then we go forward. Then we go forward. Okay. And now apparently we do it again clockwise. One, two, three, counterclockwise. One, two, counterclockwise. One, clockwise. One. That ought to do it. Okay, and then we do it again. Clockwise, clockwise, forward, counterclockwise, forward, forward, clockwise, forward, counterclockwise, forward, counterclockwise, forward, forward, clockwise, forward. Oops, I made a mistake. Clockwise, clockwise, we're facing this way, forward, counterclockwise, forward, forward, Clockwise, forward, counterclockwise, forward, counterclockwise, forward, clockwise, forward. Is that not what I just did? I don't know, maybe not. And we do it again. So, obviously this is not a real hacking simulator. I actually chose this game today because it's not. I uh, wanted some lighter fare not exactly feeling the best today if i'm being honest i'm very rarely candid when i do these videos but to be perfectly honest with you it's just one of those days for me so it's looking for something that was a little bit fun a little bit of a challenge but nothing that required too much thinking and rehack seemed to fit the bill from what i was able to see and it's been on my list for a while so no particular reason for feeling the way that I do, if I'm being perfectly honest. It's just the way it is today. So, how long am I going to have to do this? Uh, I, okay, I don't know. How long am I going to have to do this? Because this is fucking taking me... What's this? Nothing. Oh, that's probably to clear it, huh? Forward, uh, this way, that way... This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. But, you know, even on days like today, it's important to maintain perspective. It's really easy to uh, lose perspective, particularly when, you know, 
Certain life circumstances dictate a certain amount of isolation, just simply because of the way things are. It's actually kind of a serious problem for us as a society, one that we haven't yet addressed, but also I fear that if society were to address it, we would choose the absolute worst possible way to do so. But everyone feels lonely. Everyone feels isolated. It is how it is. Turn forward, turn forward, turn forward. I think we have a particular problem in our society with feelings like I do today, particularly with uh, younger men, which I know um, you can't mention without it seeming like a politically charged issue, because that's precisely what it is. I mean, there's a reason why um, groups like the Proud Boys are named after, prey upon a certain sense of masculinity. I should say a certain brand of it, perhaps. Thing is, is that... Uh, how long am I going to have to fucking do this? How many levels have I already done? <sighs> anyway, as I was saying, um, certainly is a problem for everybody when it comes to accessibility. Uh, the internet had great promise as an equalizer where all ideas, regardless of any previous biases that may have incidentally creeped in as a result of baggage which one could not control, such as their ethnicity or gender, would no longer matter. And I remember distinctly a feeling at that time that egalitarianism applauded by at least me looking forward to a future one which we seemed to have been promised, not necessarily an American dream, but a global dream, one wherein all peoples could be understood and participate equally in various different social systems that otherwise were enjoyable only by those of a certain eliteness, but that unfortunately has not manifested itself because our virtual identities and our physical identities sadly, are often considered to be immutable for some reason. So we are still, sadly, Thomas More, far too, far too gone from utopia. So you can't mention these things uh, without a certain taste of developing in the mouth, uh, and far be it for me to, uh, you know, I certainly, uh, I do have a degree in political science, but I wouldn't say that my political opinions rank necessarily any higher than anyone else's. I mean, after all, having a degree in something certainly does not necessarily ensure informed opinions or competencies and so on. But these systems that we had, this egalitarianism certainly never manifested itself, or at least not entirely, not as well as it could have. And as a result, we find that systems are inaccessible to most people. There are peoples out there who still don't have a voice. And at the same time, you have certain groups who prey upon certain individuals of certain dispositions, though it's not their dispositions, personalities, proclivities, or propensities that we really need to worry about. It's the fact that they simply have a feeling like there is no place for them. And that certainly is a feeling that transcends gender and ethnicity and orientations and so on and so forth. But rather than finding a common place of understanding, instead, find ourselves battling over the remains of a dream that never even actually existed to begin with. It's a little bit 
sad, a little bit disconcerting. And the temptation, at least for me, throw hands up and simply say, well, it is what it is, it is strong, because without easy, immediate answers, we're left only with long, difficult ones, and usually those that require or should inspire the kind of change that most people are not willing to endure. So, basically what I'm saying is, is that everyone's lonely and you should always avoid anyone who claims to have the answers because they almost certainly do not. How long do I have to do this? I thought it said mini games plural. And I close this, drag arrows to the bottom panel with mouse after Okay, you're not dragging, actually. You're, you're clicking. You're, you're clicking the arrows, not dragging. Uh, okay. Okay, these are the tools. These are, this is what I saw before when the thing fucking... Okay, did I just miss? <laughs> okay, apparently I've been doing this this entire time, and I, I've been doing it out of order. Yeah, uh -huh, there we go. You have completed your task. The system explained to you the principles of working with our software. It seems you are ready to begin. We have unlocked access to the task you need to perform. Okay, well, I apparently did things out of order. And ended up doing far more puzzles than I needed to. You need to test part of the corporation's security. Okay, sure, why not? Our system responsible for collecting statistics of requests on the network will soon be implemented. You are required to test it for vulnerabilities. Installing Maze Shark 2.0. Successfully installed software. Switch, switch to it using the taskbar. Oh, I see. It's just a maze. Oh, but it requires a slightly finer hand than I have. I have to catch it at just the right time. Oh, well. Doing this with the arrow keys, by the way. Ah, I'm just not quick enough right now. It's too early in the morning. This also might require just a bit more attention than I'm able to apply at the moment. Damn it. Damn it. It's okay. Let it get to me. Is there a better way to control this? The arrow keys are just not doing it for me. Son of a bitch. I haven't used the arrow keys like this since the early days of the uh, Apple IIe we used to have set up in the library where we'd play things like Snake and stuff on it. Damn it. Definitely not a task made for old people with arthritis, I'll tell you that much. I mean, I guess technically speaking, the arthritis that I enjoy is actually a product of working the majority of my life with power tools and playing the drums and all that, which also I attribute to significant hearing loss. Why did I do that? But it is what it is, as I like to tell myself, come on, you fucking piece of shit. Okay, I'm not going to let it get to me. It's just a stupid cursor. <laughs> It's fine. Uh, uh, ah. I will not choose violence today.
All right, I'm going to go the other way. I swear to God, my reflexes are not this bad. There we go. What? I did it. What the fuck? <sighs> okay, I d I definitely did it. Okay. The software is developed to Test and detect vulnerabilities. Graphical interface will make managing. Okay. What? Yeah, I know. That's what I just did. You asking me to do it again? Or is this just one of those fucking weird bugs? Oh, it's moving significantly slower now, which is actually kind of screwing me up a little bit. Okay, there we go. All information received during the test was successfully saved. Okay, thank you. The data will be analyzed and sent to our specialists for the troubleshoot for troubleshooting. Okay. As you can see on the left, located a list of the current tasks which you need to perform. Mostly, these are in the names of applications in which you need to perform certain actions. At the moment, to complete the test, you need to check one more thing. Switch to the needed application. Matrix. This software is needed for hacking by calculating the right combination of letters and digits used in the encryption. You need to only press enter at the right time. Okay, it's another one of these. I think I lie. Okay. Um, I think I played something like that with uh, another game at some point. I don't remember which one. You have successfully coped with the task. Our system is fully tested. Now we can crack it. Access to new missions is available. Okay, apparently I'm talking now. Complete the new assignment. Goodbye. Large commission. Corporation has commissioned you to fulfill the task of its partner. Hello, you agreed to carry out our assignment. ConCloud, engaged in cloud computing, asks us to collect st statistical data necessary to advance in network. You are required to get his data out from out cloud servers and send them to analysis. You will need the new application. Gravity. The information is collected by adjusting the direction of travel with the spacebar button. Because access is available only for a while, you need to hurry, otherwise you have to start again. Okay, this is going to be Brick Breaker, I'm guessing. No. What am I doing? Whoa. What the... Okay, all I can do is go up and down so I'm supposed to be collecting these it seems yeah it says 1925 okay yeah we're just collecting these and I'm doing a terrible job of it the collected data must be stored in the company database in the required order you have already worked with this application it's this one down here so we're back to this Alrighty. The data has been successfully received and will be useful for identifying potential customers. Continue working. Oh. 
Okay. Message. You get a message from another corporation employee. Hi, my name is Thomas. I also recently got a job here, but I already learned a lot about this job. Previously, I was engaged in the extraction of cryptocurrency, but then I discovered that someone had access to my secret code and took it and took away everything I had been working for so long. I could not pay electricity bills, and I had to work here. I still plan to resume mining, but I need help. I think the corporation has already given you access to everything you need. Help me to test my new way of protecting data. I developed it myself. Okay, we got a matrix. Here you can try and get my wallet key as you finish. Send it to me, and I'll tell if the system found the right key. So none of these puzzles have been particularly difficult or anything. 75666, I think it's not the key. I believe it to be something else. Everything works. I could not find my key. But what did it find then? Okay, it's time for me. Thank you for helping me. I have an assignment from the corporation. I'll try to find out something. I hope no one will mind if I look for this combination in the database. And now we're doing gravity again, apparently. Looking for 17. Too little information, but I already realized that this is the key with which can be used to decipher information related to the cryptocurrency. Okay. Well, I am, uh, I mean, Rehack uh, is not uh, a hacking simulator. It, uh, it, it is in the indie action simulation hacking mining categories. It does say the hacking simulator, which consists of many, many games. Um, but even though it says hacking simulator, the fact that it says consists of many, many games, I knew that this was going to be a hacking themed puzzle game, which is actually what it is. So as a uh, hacking simulator, um, definite fail, um, as a hacking themed puzzle game, it's all right. Um, none of the puzzles were really that difficult. I don't know if there's, I do see here on steam that one of the puzzles is brick breaker. Um, we didn't have a chance to see this one. We did do the maze. We did do gravity. We did do this one command. So, um, did we do one that's not on the list? Uh, because Matrix is over here. So um, it looks like there's Matrix, there's the Maze, there's Gravity, there's Command, uh, there's Brick Breaker, and then there's this one, whatever this is. Um, those are the only two we didn't play. Um, and since all of the other ones are present, I'm going to guess that's all that they have here is just these five and six mini games. Um, so... As a hacking simulator, it's not one. As a hacking themed puzzle game, it's okay. Uh, none of them were really that hard and um, kept me entertained for about 20 minutes or so, I guess. So um, it's super cheap. So for the for the price, I'm not asking for more, I guess. Um, what else we got here? It is buggy. It did bug out on me once and a couple of times I started the game and it didn't recognize that the game was started. Uh, here we have a developer response to this. So we have a not recommended uh, from a variety of soaps. <clears throat> March 24th, 2018. Before you read, I'm very dumb, so I could be the only one having these problems, and I haven't beaten the game, so I might suck at explaining. The minigames. This game is built off the minigames, yet they're all either boring, luck-based, straight-up, already existing games, or are mediocre. Yeah, I mean, I didn't play any minigames here that I hadn't seen before. Um, I don't really need... Okay, so how, how many are there, though? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 minigames, so uh, there's 3 more that aren't pictured. Um, Asteroid. Uh, oh, okay. One of them isn't a minigame, it's just typing random keys, apparently. Um, Tile Sploit is probably that one that we saw uh, pictured. 
Um, and it's basically just command except turn based, apparently. Uh, secondly, the bugs. The game does uh, some glitches, however, it was released quite recently, so don't judge it too harshly. Well, at this point, it has been released for quite a while, so <coughs> it has been released quite a while ago. So at this point, I will hold them accountable for the bugs. Um, TLDR, mediocre minigames, a couple bugs, but a lot of potential. Uh, the developer, we wish to express your gratitude for your feedback. Our latest update, which we released today, is intended to rid the game of these issues, which you explained to us. We'd be grateful if you would try the new version of the game and update your review. Um, so my verdict on this, uh, it's not a hacking simulator, obviously. As a hacking team puzzle game, it's okay. Uh, the, the mini games weren't particularly hard. Uh, they don't require a lot of thought, um, but that's exactly what I was looking for right now. And so for one of these kind of games where you, I don't know, maybe chill out a little bit and play a couple easy mini games and, and get it over with. And, and for the cost, I mean, <laughs> it was 20 minutes for two bucks of entertainment or two bucks for 20 minutes of entertainment. Uh, and, uh, you know, I got no problem with it. I, I would, I would play this again if I was in a situation where I, you know, wanted to uh, kill a little time or something like that, but definitely not going to teach anything or, or, or anything like that. So uh, not exactly what I'm looking for on this channel anyway. All right, take care. We'll see you guys in the next one.